Hello guys, how are you? This is the review of uh, these products that were sent to me uh, by Modelax Kishviat, a new company in the market that is releasing through the market washes and oil washes, to be more precise, and pigments and um, thinner. They asked me if I wanted to do a review of it. I started to film a review, but then I thought that the best way possible was to uh, use their products on a kit. So as you can see, they have quite a lot of variety of uh, pigments and uh, the oil washes also are very thin, very diluted. Um, the bottles itself, they bring just a small metal sphere which helps you to uh, just uh, shake the bottle. This acrylic thinner that I have here, it has absolutely no smell at all. It's like water, no smell, and by no, no odor, it's no odor at all. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm having second thoughts here, and, and I'm opening this because this really just makes me confused. I am used to everything chemical and no, no odor at all. On this video you will see how I used uh, with a bit more of um, detail how I used the oil washes for instance on my uh, 172nd Mitsubishi A6 M0 prototype from 5 moles and also how I use it uh, the, the washes and uh, the pigments on that on the 148 to me uh, Sturmgeschütz 3 um, I had a lot of footage on that um, I thought I could just let let it go a bit on the imagination and have some fun with the with the weathering products on the Stug uh, and I really enjoyed working on it even if because it, it's not usual for me to pick up a kit already built and to weather it or improve it or for that matter even kind of restore it but I enjoyed very much working with these and um, this video yes is promoting a bit quite honestly with you guys no bullshit here but also telling you the pros and cons um, if there is any if there are any and uh, my uh, honest evaluation and opinion about these products first of all with my bar sharp 186 I give it um, a matte coat on the tank um, I had it satined so I thought it would be better to give it a matte coat first First of all, let's start this fun with a bit of rust, in this case standard rust applied to the hull of the tank. As you can see, I am applying just a pigment directly to the hull. No binder, no pigment cement, I just want to give it a light tone of rust in certain points. As you can see, this is a very fine pigment.
Here guys, I know that uh, on the video may look a bit overreacted. Too much is too much, okay? Uh, but I will clean this with a cotton bud and it will considerably tone down the rust tone, okay? Um, on the video, the light effect, sometimes the light goes into the model and it's reflected a bit more colorful um, you know how it is it's light refraction but on this case yes I am putting a bit too much but that it will be cleaned not only on this case old rust uh, the name of the type of wash but also for what you should use it on this case it's also a track wash as you can see on the kit you cannot tell right now uh, no exaggerated tone of rust due to the pigments but this oil wash will be applied as a wash to the tracks I allowed this wash to um, dry for 30 minutes and then with a cotton bud just moistened very very uh, softly with white spirit I proceed to cleaning um, the excess of it allowing the wash just to stay a bit between the most um, metal part of the tracks just on the nuts and, and crannies of the, the tracks and the wash performed admirably Never could have been and now just let's going to do a bit of mud here between the road the, the tracks and the, the wheels we're going to use pigment and pigment binder and we're going to use uh, on pigments this brown earth also this heavy European earth darker tone and to blend it a bit with muddy trail everything will be of course binded by this pigment cement Just don't get The 
only thing I noticed on these uh, bottles is that you have to remove this ring, okay? Uh, and then you can just close the bottle and shake it away. Uh, if you let this ring on, the seal won't be tight, okay? So remove this ring and then you won't be have any kind of problem when shaking the, the, the oil uh, wash. Of course here uh, you are only limited by your imagination. You can use a little bit of plaster also to make the mud a bit thicker. I just mix it all up and the consistency was very very good. This is only 148 so it was just to test these products and to have some fun. But here your imagination is your own limit. Um, products until now are performing very well. Here I am applying a very heavy um, layer of wet mud. Um, later ahead I will apply a bit of pigment on top just to give it um, this wet mud appearance of kind of a dried grimy mud um, I will do some splatters also and just try to think here guys on the that famous uh, Rasputitsa mud uh, that happened, happened on, on the spring, on the autumn and on the winter on spring and winter, I'm not sure. Um, the roads went very, very muddy, and trucks were almost all totally submerged in, in, in mud. And according to uh, the description of the German army, uh, was a total nightmare. So I am applying here a heavy, heavy. Uh, coat of mud which is what I want because I want to have some fun I just want to test this, these uh, weathering products so it goes just the way I want it and now we're going to apply a bit of a fresh field sand just to tone down the darkness of the mud and at the same time to simulate some mud that it is already dried on those coats and layers of weathering. And now I know that I should have done that first, but I'm not obeying rules here, so I'm giving this uh, tank a bit of a dark uh, for Panzer Grey, a dark wash for Panzer Grey, just on those panels and just to enhance a bit the detail. I know I should have done, uh, first I, I should have given a, a clear coat because of the capillary effect and all, but hey, I'm just having fun, okay? So if you apply this, I even applied this with a matte coat on and it went perfectly. So I don't know where where the issue on, on clear coat and matte coat here applies, but um, I just applied this just to enhance a bit the panels. Um, as you can see, yes, it goes a bit uh, like on a matte surf surface. It, it, it just 
does not go as well. But with the cotton bud and clean it, it went perfect, no problem at all. And on this way, I enhance a bit the panel. So here I am not going according to what modelers say that we should do, okay? But I am just having fun on this. top hole I probably could do a bit more of a I don't know mud dust you tell me on the comments below guys because um, this is not my thing this doesn't have a wing a propeller or a jet blast engine I just don't know I do this just to clear my mind this is fun uh, this helps me to just let my, let's call it artistic side, just go a bit wild. And I really wanted to test these, uh, these uh, products. So if you have any advice regarding the top hole, please. On the final part, I gave it another clear coat because I'm using a... Um, pencil a graphite pencil and that shines like a madman and on the middle of mud you don't have any too much shine metal shine let's say so any advice it's uh, welcome also i will place a link to the um, these products on the description below okay Using my faithful bar sharp 186, I am giving, as I told you, a matte coat just to um, tone everything down and unify everything. Except, of course, on the sides of the of the turret, I'm just giving on the upper hole. Um, and as you can see on this armor, these products were very good went nicely. Uh, it was a pleasure to work on them. I also wanted to take this opportunity to say that uh, you can also use these oil washes on uh, your plane builds, of course. 
as you can see, uh, I am always using uh, these since I got it. Um, the deep black panel wash is very good. I also used a, very, a white, a light gray panel wash on the blacks to just enhance the panels. And it's done, guys. Um, it's done. The armor is done. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, subscribe. Consider helping me on Patreon. I'm there only to sustain, to make my hobby a bit more sustainable. And as always, guys, as always, keep modeling. Keep modeling. Always, always with a smile. Cheers, guys. Have a nice day. Never could have been thinking I would know what the future bring. All the highs and lows said I'm gonna win, though the world might spin. Now I'm sitting here like I'm no one.